Hello everybody, so rules today what I'm doing is my W Monday Night Royal Reactions for February 29, 2016. My one was just telling you that this is going to be the first leap year that has fell on Raw, the first ever leap year on Raw. Um, it will happen in 2044 and 20 more years later. <coughs> will Mr. McMahon still be alive by then? I don't know, he'll be like 90. The Undertaker will be like 70. The Undertaker's 50. So get right ahead of that, that Raw rebound with Triple H beating up Roman Reigns, so yada yada. Um... Triple H comes out. He's he um he's talking about authority. You're afraid to step out. You know your place. You want to say something, but you know your place. You just accept the authority. What's going on? Dean Ambrose comes out. He starts talking that he wants a title match. And he's like, "You're gonna face Roderick Real tonight in the main event of Monday Night Raw." So that's how that ends. Um, and also, Dean Ambrose says, uh, "Roman Reigns is coming out to get you. Eventually, he's coming after you. What you did to him." But not tonight because he was not here tonight. Uh, so that was that segment. That was the beginning of Raw. So we have Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch. It ends in a draw. He has the sunset flip. Uh, one, two, three. It ends in a draw. So then SmackDown next week, which is later on the show. We go like SmackDown on this past Thursday. Or today as it's going. Um, that They're going to have a rematch. This who faces Charlotte. Uh, for, which, he, which she's with Ric Flair. At the WrestleMania 32 in Dallas, Texas. Texana Lunge is what the JBL and Michael Cole and Brad Sexton said. Well, it was some kind of lounge, which uh, they showed it, if you know what I'm talking about. Also, Shane McMahon is coming back next week for WMI Raw. So, he's going to confront... Uh, well, I'll get to this part right now. Mr. McMahon is out there. He comes out, talks, starts talking about Shane McMahon. He's going to lose. He goes, on my face is on the Undertaker. The Undertaker comes out. He says, you're... You know, you know when I close that door that your blood son will not be on my hands, but on yours. And just walks out. Like, he grabs him and, like, kind of chokes so Mr. McMahon has to get a drink of water. And then he starts talking that he will not be my son, but a son of a bee. Like that. Uh, he says that. Um, so, Shane McMahon's going to come back next week and roll. He's going to confront Mr. McMahon, probably the Undertaker, too. I don't know what's going to happen. Also, we, also, uh, that's how I was getting interviewed by, like, how she stayed good in shape, uh, just all that, like, healthy food and stuff, working out a lot. Um, so there's that. And then we have The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler. Before, uh, last week on the pre-show, they were talking about, like, that was five years ago, The Miz, what Miz, what have you done since then? I don't think he deserved to be a W Superstar. I don't think he deserved to be a W Intercontinental Champion. They start. They have a match to the, to tonight, which which was very short. The Miz won. He hit. He like pushed him in the corner and he rolled him up. The Miz wins because he's awesome, as he proclaims. I'm the Miz and I'm awesome. So he wins. Surprised me because uh, surprised me uh, a little bit. I didn't know he was gonna win, so that was a shocker. We have Y two AJ, which is uh, Chris Jericho and AJ Styles versus the New Day, which is uh, Kofi Kingston and Big E with Xavier Woods out there with Francesco too. Um, the WWE Tag Team Champions are talking about that they're the best tag team of all time and best three tag team in the world. Um, so they're having this match and Chris Jericho gets to win. He gets a uh, well, I think he gets someone in the walls of Jericho and makes him tap out and wins the match. Wins the match and uh, they they want to take them title match next week, which they're gonna get it because it's a uh, it's been um set that next week from Raw, AJ Styles and Chris Jericho will versus the New Day for the WWE Tag Team Championships on Raw next week. Uh, I said it twice. Um, so that's gonna be that. We have the League of Nations: Shamus and Rusa versus the Lucha Giants and Car and Kalisto. The Kalisto is the WWE United States Champion. So the Lucha Dragons ends up losing. Uh, Sheamus and Rusev. Uh, well, I think, I think Sheamus pins or R Rusev pins. I don't know. Someone pins uh, Kalisto and wins the match. They win and they're celebrating. And they're gonna be on there later tonight because the brother is gonna face Dean Ambrose. Um, King Bear did nothing out there really, but at least he's wrestling a little bit. As a, if you've seen on Raw and SmackDown or wherever he did. Um, so we have Ryback with an aggressive side. He talks aggressive. Ryback is versing Adam Rose with uh, Heat Slater, Chris Axel, and Bodassa, which did nothing. Ryback beats him really easily. He does a show shock, one, two, three, and walks out, and that's it. And this R Troop Gold Dust, no more, question mark. Because R Troop was like, I don't want any more of this. You're creepy enough. Just go away. And Gold Dust walks away, and no more. He goes, like, Come on. And then 
Man, and then uh, that's how it ends. No more question mark. I don't know. Golden truth. I don't know. That's a mystery mark to me. Question mark. Whatever it is. Uh. They also showed uh, the Raw Realm with Stephen Man, Shane McMahon of WrestleMania 32. He comes out. If you've seen that last week, just go back to my last week uh, Raw reactions and watch them. Um, we have uh, Jey Uso versus Bubba Ray Dudley, and then Devon Dudley distracts Jimmy Uso, throws a table at him, and then Jey Uso hits uh, Devon Dudley with, with a super kick, and then Bubba Ray Dudley hits him with some kind of book, like his uh, Bubba Bomb or. Paul Nelson, Buckle Bomb or something, and one, two, three, uh, Bubba Ray wins, he beats Jey Uso, and that's how that goes. Um, so, the Usos are not doing so well against the Dudley Boys. Get the, not the tables, uh, okay. So we have, uh, Stephanie Man comes out talking about her reward and talking about that she loves her brother, so did Mr. Man. Um, uh, they're talking, well, Stephanie Man's talking, and, and then, uh, that is, she's the queen and that you should bow down to her and her husband, the King of Kings, and she's the Queen of Queens, and that's it. That's what that segment was about, basically. Did we cover everything? No. We have, oh yeah, Bray Wyatt was talking about that. Insanity is where you do the same thing and expect different results. Maybe I am insane, but my mind is the key to save the world. Join me, or I will give you a thing, or don't join me and you will be destroyed. Run. Yeah, they brought Sean Luke Carper and Eric Rowan say nothing but stand there, and they do nothing after that. It was just a segment. I don't know who they're talking to. Are they going to conquer something? Conquer? I don't know. Quote, quote, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe they're going to attack them at WrestleMania 32. I don't know. That's what I don't know. Something like that, or they're going to attack someone. Um, so we have Renee Young interviewing Brie Bella. She's, uh, she's uh, checking up on, like, you know, Nikki Bella and Dan Bryan doing, they're doing all right. And Lana comes out there. So Lana comes out there and starts dissing on Brubell that your man cannot provide for you, but my man can give me everything. And you have a skinny body, I have a good body and stuff like that. You know, yeah. So Brubell is going to face Naomi with uh, Naomi has to be a snug out there, gets a little bit of traction. Naomi ends up winning. She gets her in that weird submission. Brubell taps out. Lana comes out and starts clapping, and uh, and that's how that ends. Will they? Will she fight? I don't know. Will she get like in a ring attire and fight rebel later on i don't know oh yeah the fabulous free birds there's like four people i don't know their names are going to be inducted to the wb hall of fame of 2016 the night after wrestlemania i think 32 announcement uh, i think right after yeah um so that's that that's what's going to happen right there now we're going to get to the main event dean ambrose versus alberto del rio oh whoa 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 um, so this match is going on, uh, Dean Ambrose is fighting, Berto Rios has it mostly covered, Dean Ambrose does the elbow off the top rope and takes out all the League of Nations, Sheamus, Rusev, uh, King Bear, and uh, Berto de Rio, which he helped, tried to help up, but then that happened, and then, uh, yeah, when he was trying to do that one, uh, when Berto Rios was trying to do that, trying to punch, uh, the arrows off the top rope, he kind of missed and slipped, but then he got back up there, he kind of watched it, that was like the only mess up of the night, I could see, uh, besides seeing car, I watched things, but nothing else, um, so, it was like, 98% pretty good of not watching, 22% watching stuff like, messing up moves that they're not supposed to do, um, so this match is going on, and, uh, Triple H comes out, and, and then the League Nations beat Dean Ambrose up. He still gets up. He gets kicked to the face by Alberto Rio. He still gets up. And Triple H shakes everybody's hand starts beating up. Uh, well, Triple H starts talking about that. You cannot define a for authority. And then Dean Ambrose has a little bit of fight. And starts fighting. And then Triple H pedigrees Dean Ambrose. And then he picks up a microphone. Once Triple H looks like he's about to walk out. He goes like, uh, he goes like, uh, well, Triple H said, you want a, you want a title match with, for, with me? You're on. And then... Once he walks out, the uh, Dean Arrows picks up the microphone and says, Thanks. Triple H, thanks. And then Triple H comes back in and starts beating him up some more. Throws him outside the ring, throws him over the table, throws Brad Saxton, uh, like throws Brad Saxton a little bit, one of the commentary people, which JBL Mark Cole said that, like, he threw Saxton go flying, Brad Saxton go flying. And then, and then I'm, uh, then he pedigrees. He yeah, well, you know the pedigree. He beats him up on the announce table, and that's how that ends. And then the one guy is screaming, like, 
end him, end him, end him. You stay down, Dios. You don't want any more of that. You don't want any more. You don't need any more. Stay down. Stay down. I guess he does not like Dean Ambrose. I guess he does not like the lunatic fringe. Fringe. End him. Uh, stay down, stay down. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to match. Big Show versus Kevin Owens. Uh, which Kevin Owens is the Intercontinental Champion. Big Show, the Big Show ends up winning that match. Like, he does the same thing that Kevin Owens did on the SmackDown. I don't think it was on accident, they say. It was on purpose. He looks like he's about to choke him, but makes him land on the ropes with hitting his balls. Like he did the Big Show, and he gets a little bit like, uh, well, you can do anything better or something like, or, or um, uh, just for a little bit of wrench. And then Big Show gets a count of victory and ends up beating the Intercontinental Champion. So it's one to one apiece with count of victories. So we might have a title match between them. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I can think of the Big Show. I just laugh when he comes out for some reason. I don't know why. But this has been my WWE Monday Night Raw. February, this was February 29, 2016. Leap day on the leap year. The next one will be in 2044. Um, 20 years from now. And please like this video. Leave a comment of what you thought of WWE Monday Night Raw. And subscribe for more. Hope it rolls out. Bye guys. Bye bye.